All right, hello, I'm Rob Zizek. This is Sarah Wilcox. And we did a workshop here at Bear Hug, Montana. Um, and we're just gonna go over quickly what we learned from the beginning to the end, okay? The first thing we learned is we learned about muscle tone. It's how much muscle you use in the arm and in your everything, right? We have a low tone where you're just dangling loosey loosey goose. And it's really good for loosey movements. Like if I wanna do slow blues things, okay? We have more tone, like you find in contra dance, where we want to do faster, more precise, movie things, right? Move around in places, a lot of springiness, right? And that's a higher tone. You need to go crazy high tone if you're doing like some crawl thing, right? In order to be like super precise with your whatever. Anyway, you have this idea of low tone to high tone. And it's necessary to understand this so that you can match your partner appropriately. If they're higher tone, it'll be more comfortable for everybody if you match them. If they're low tone, you don't want to blast them out, you want to match them, okay? Also, it's important for slow moves, like a slow swing, like maybe it's in like a sultry little jig, you have a slow swing, you don't need very much tone. Higher tone will just make it uncomfortable, right? But if you're doing it fast, because we're really banging in a square dance or something, you have a higher tone, which allows you to stay together as you spin off into oblivion. Um, okay, so that's the tone. The next thing that we learned about is we learned about conserving momentum. It's a lot more comfortable for the follow if they just keep going on the same line of momentum that they've already had, right? If she starts going in a straight line, it's a lot easier for her to keep going in the straight line. So I got out of her way. It's not good for her to go off the straight line and do this big curve around and then go back this way, right? Both ways, she got from one side of me to the other side of me, but one way was awful and it didn't feel good for her. And the other way was like the simplest thing ever. Very easy for her. This is momentum. We talked about in the latest chain. Momentum is so that she's basically just on the same straight line. We talked about when we spin, she just basically spins in place as I walk around her, right? Again, the alternative is quite awful for her, because then she has to spin and walk around me at the same time. <laughs> Terrible. Worst feeling ever, okay? And momentum applies to literally everything. We talked about in a swing, because of momentum, you don't have to force them to spin open like this. In, in fact, if I just stop, she's gonna do it anyways, right? If I just stop, her momentum is just gonna, that's what happens. I can also make it easier on her by just lifting the hand, and that's plenty enough, okay? We lead with the momentum in mind, okay? The next thing that we learned about is there's the whole, that, the whole way to lead and follow isn't lead, it is a suggestion. It's a little bit of tension, and the tension isn't caused by my arm at all. I would be arming it, it's gonna feel awful. Instead, it's caused by, as I move away, Obviously, there's some tension that's generated. I'm not putting more muscle tone in my arm, right? I'm just moving closer or moving away, and that changes the tension. And this works for all levels of tone, right? If we're at our contra dance tone level, if I start to move away, she feels the tension, and she'll follow, right? If I start to come towards her, she'll feel compression, right? And she'll go away in order to find an equilibrium that feels great between us. Um, all right, was it, uh, is there anything else in the first half that we learned? That was about it, right? All right, that was about the first half. It was all about our basics. Now, the second half was the throw and catch workshop. Okay, and the general idea is, if she is spinning, then uh, we learn to move for the lead to catch her and go directly into a swing, okay? So she could be spinning counterclockwise was the first, uh, Clockwise was the first one that we learned, so go ahead and spin clockwise. And we learned a catch, catch. Let me do it on this side so it's obvious she's spinning. We learned a left and then a right. Now, if it's already coming from a swing, it would look like this left, right. It would look left, right. Okay? That's the first catch. The second catch is if she is spinning uh, counterclockwise. So go ahead and spin counterclockwise. You don't need two hands for this one, just the one. Right there on the shoulder blade, five. Okay? Spin counterclockwise for me, just the one. Right there on the shoulder blade, and then you go in. This one's a little trickier because you have to counteract her specific momentum, right? And so you want to take your time with the catch to slowly spring into the new momentum. 
if you catch like an iron bar, it's going to be extremely uncomfortable for her. So if you're spinning and I just catch you and pull you, that's no fun at all. Okay? You let things slowly stretch and then re redirect. Just like we talked about with the tension. So she's spinning this way. I slowly catch and then we go. Okay? And that's important. Now, the reason that this is really cool is now, as long as we get her spinning from any way that you want, it doesn't matter, you can catch and go directly into a swing. Okay? You can do stuff, unadvisable stuff like the this move that everybody hates, right? Spend her swinging, she's spinning around, you catch and go straight into a swing. Okay? Other examples, you can go like this, it doesn't really matter. She's spinning now, catch, go into the swing. Like this, change her momentum, spinning, right? And then catch, go into a swing. Right? Spinning, spinning, woo, it doesn't matter. You're gonna spin around this way, catch. Alright, I missed the catch. I was trying to be cool. Uh, you can go into a swing, okay? And that's the idea. Um, we learned specifically, uh, we're swinging. You have a little bit of extra tension here, the jet stops, and the momentum will just have them spin out. You could just end, you could just end the swing like that, or that could be your catch, throwing catch. You're swinging, it you stops, she spins away. It happens very naturally, no effort on my part. Yeah, sound good? The other thing we learned is we learned an inside turn where you catch and then go directly into the swing, right? So we'll do it on this side. So we balance, I get off her momentum rail. We go straight, she spins, I catch, we go right in. All right, is there anything else that we covered today? I think that was it. Anybody think of anything? All right, thanks for coming. Oh. Can you guys demo the other things that you said, catch you individually, and then we draw video and, and um, have that? With the, what, uh, the video learning of the fancy stuff that we're going to teach us that we didn't get to. Oh, the fancy, sure, sure, sure. Fancy stuff. First fancy stuff is it's a behind the back catch. So I'm going to turn at the same time that she is turning. So we're doing our swing. You do the normal throw and catch, which is the, this one, right? The, uh, the cl clockwise one. So for this time, as she's spinning, instead of me just staying in place, I'm going to spin with her. Does that make sense? So in order to do this, as she's spinning, I'm immediately prepped up. I'm immediately prepped with my other hand so that I can get it there. Looks a little awkward in slow motion, for sure. <laughs> Left hand catch, right hand finish. In fast motion, it's less awkward because I'm not going to actually screw that hard. I'm just going to get going. Right? But you'll see that this hand is right there. And it maintains connection if you can, so that you always know where they are even when you're not looking. Pretty straightforward. So that's a behind the back catch. And if you're really cool, you can throw that in other places instead of just the normal throw. Anytime that you would catch her, right? Remember we got her spinning somehow, it doesn't matter. Catch. You could spin with her and catch, right? So as she's spinning around like this, oops, I could reach around and catch her behind the back, right? So she's going, she's spinning, right? I could reach around and catch her behind the back, which is just like an advanced. It takes timing, but you'll get it, right? It's not like if you're spinning counterpart. That one was clockwise. Oh, counterclockwise? Oh, how do you catch it behind the back? You know. <laughs> um, you could, well, never mind, you can. Yeah, that's not fine, right? So we're pushing it this way. Oops, I just leveled you in the back. So if she's spinning counterclockwise, right? I want to spin opposite of her.